Officers say the man was just walking in the wrong place at the wrong time when he was hit and killed by one of the cars involved in that fiery crash. Good evening, I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lauren Rowe. Right now, people are upset, wondering if the man could have been saved if he had been found sooner. The body was found today near A1A and Pine Tree Drive in Indy Atlantic, just feet away from Saturday's crash. That's where Local 6's Justin Warmoth is live. Uh, Justin, how did investigators miss the body when they were on the scene just after the crash happened? Well, apparently they were dealing with some thick brush, Lauren, because they had several law enforcement agents out here on Saturday when the crash happened searching for that missing pedestrian. But some folks who live in the area are worried that the man could have been alive when he was missed. You know, I just knew on Saturday that that, that gentleman was here somewhere. I just felt it. David Robertson and his electrician were working on his damaged concrete wall around 9 o'clock this morning when they found a body on his property, 10 feet deep in a Brazilian pepper tree patch. We both walked up to it and looked in, and we both saw something, and I didn't want to look at it, and I backed off, and Noel put his head in and went, went about half a step forward and then pulled himself out turned around and looked at me and said, there's a body in there. Troopers identified the body this morning as 60-year-old Melbourne resident Art Stroud. We're told Stroud was struck by this 2010 Dodge Charger driven by Nancy Chansey of Indy Atlantic. This was the scene on Saturday afternoon when Chansey's car struck a culvert, went airborne, snapped a utility pole, and overturned several times before it burst into flames. Chansey was ejected and pronounced dead at the scene. Witnesses told troopers that a pedestrian was involved in the accident, but after several law enforcement officials searched the area, they did not find Stroud. We asked troopers how they missed him. It is very thick, heavy brush down there, and he was so far back in there that nobody saw him uh, in the shrubs in the woods. Troopers say because Chansey was ejected, it was difficult to determine if a pedestrian was actually involved in the accident on Saturday. But folks who saw the crash want to know if officials searched hard enough. Makes me feel very sad because I just pray he wasn't alive and left there to die. Now that homeowner I talked with on camera today actually caught the crash on camera. I'll have much more on that coming up tonight at 6. Lauren, back to you. All right. Thanks very much, Justin.